Well, senior night was dulled a little bit as the Buffaloes followed a similar storyline as of late, having an early lead and ultimately falling to USC 27 to 24 here under the lights at Folsom Field. Larry Zimmer, Mark Johnson, thanks for joining us on our bus recap. Quite an awful good ball game for Colorado. They they still have to learn to win, but boy, they went out and played nose to nose with a very talented Trojans team. Boy, they did. They fell behind three to nothing, and uh, you know then they go down and and get a touchdown and. Uh, to get it to get the interception by Jared Bell. I, you know, it does my heart good to see Jared Bell get that interception. Yeah, I mean, he's been amen. around here for six years and and uh, they go in and take advantage of it and score. They get a field goal. They're up 17 to three and, you know, they give up the field goal right at the end. But uh, as many as you said, a familiar story in the second half, they just can't hang on to it. They fumble at the wrong time. Uh, USC takes it in for a score and then they have a block field goal that uh, turns into a score. So it's those little things, Mark, and that's that's how close they are, how close they are or how far away. They yeah, are. Christian Powell was the one that had the fumble. Buffaloes were up 17 to 6 yeah. and a half. Christian Powell then with a fumble, short field touchdown, block field goal, short field touchdown. In fact, the Buffs gave up 24 on answer to one point, went from 17 to 3 to down 27 to 17. Get but a then late they touchdown. Came back. Get a late touchdown. 44 yeah. yard punt return by Nelson Spruce on senior day. Uh, very short field there, ultimately make it 27 to 24. That's the final. Now, maybe the big story to this ball game is the Buffs have lost their quarterback. It appears at this point in time. Have not heard that definitive. But Seppo Lufau went down with a foot injury, and so he's over the season. But Cade Absey came in and played very well in relief. I, I tell you what, I was so happy to see the way Cade played, and uh, you know, because of the ceremony on the field, I I saw a little bit of him from field level. And uh, th this kid was, uh, came in there, and he was pretty cool the, yeah. the way he handled himself. And uh, I think you heard that from some of the players after the game that Cade just sort of took charge out there. And that, that's a good thing. The guy's a redshirt freshman. This is a, he had been in a game before, but this is the first real action. National TV against USC. Hey, I thought he handled himself very, very well. Yeah, playing with the third stringers in a blowout yeah. victory by the Buffaloes against UMass, not quite the same as facing uh, USC, one of the more right. talented teams in the country in, in crunch time. Now, it's a familiar storyline Colorado just not figuring out how to get over the hump and you know we talked with Gary Barnett in the broadcast late in this one sometimes it's that last six inches which becomes the toughest because you get to a certain point where you're playing even with teams this team's got to learn how to get over that winning hump now well and and I think it's a matter of depth uh, I, I think Colorado's talent is there uh, on the front line and that's how you know it seems like every every week they play pretty well early on in the game. Stanford last week tied 7-7 in the first quarter. But as the game goes on, they get worn down. They don't have the second line people to put in there like the other teams that come in. So it's, it's a process. And Coach McIntyre has said that time and again. It's a process. And uh, if, if, they, if they weren't progressing, I'd say that's a problem, but they are progressing. They're a lot better football team than they were a year ago. You can't tell it by the wins and losses, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, the Buffaloes now are four and seven on the campaign. They've got two games left. I, I thought the Buffs were going to get Zimba win on his 80th birthday here in his final home game. Well, I thought happen. so too. But by the way, uh, I was told and we did not talk to Mike McIntyre, and the mass media did not talk to Mike McIntyre after the ball game. I was told by all the folks down the locker room, this is as angry and upset about a game as they've seen Mike McIntyre in three seasons here. Well, I, I guess I can understand that. I mean, it, it just seems like it's a. It, it sort of makes us angry too, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing every week that uh, they're right there and they can't make the play that's going to put them over the top, and uh, or two or three plays, I guess I should say. And uh, I'm not surprised that he's angry. You know what, though? Uh, he's a football coach. Uh, he's the son of a coach. He's been through it. Yep. Uh, by the time uh, he gets back with his team. Uh, he'll be ready to get ready for Washington State. Yeah, I think the Buffs have two games remaining now. They're sitting, as I mentioned, uh, four and seven on the season. They're one and six in Pac-12 conference play. Next week, we'll be in Pullman, Washington. Oh, that's always a fun trip as they take on Washington State. And Mike Leach will hit the air at 6.30 on our flagship KOA News Radio, AM 850 and one on the FM side. Our network affiliates will pick up at 7.05. And again, about 7.45 or 8.45, I beg your pardon, Mountain Time. The Buffaloes will kick it off against the Cougars. Happy birthday to this guy number 80 I'm about 80 years young for this guy couldn't get him a win here tonight as the buffs fall though 27 to 24 to USC for Larry Zimmer and Mark Johnson thanks for joining us on our bus recap here on cubus.com